Hey, and thank you for joining me. Today, tweeters from Hertz. Today, in this video, I will be showing you how to install those tweeters in your Volvo. I'm gonna do a little review at the end of the video, how they sound. And in my Volvo, I have the middle uh, version of the sound system. So we have basic, high performance and premium sound from Dean Audio. I have the high performance, the middle system, which sounds great, but I decided to do a little upgrade on the tweeters. Let's uh, unbox and take a look what's inside. The tweeters are 150 watts, 1 inch in size or 26 millimeters. They're 4 ohm in impedance. The original ones that uh, Volvo installs are 5 ohm. And these are the capacitors that I'm going to be using. I'll explain a little bit later. Let's take a look what we have in the box. Owner's manual, which I never read unless I have to. You probably do the same. There is a uh, warranty card and uh, the tweeters themselves there is uh, some brackets for ease of installation and those plastic things were the optional installation for you the tweeters themselves metal mesh hertz logo it's pre-wired there is a hole in the middle for a screw to screw the brackets on how did i test the hertz tweeters i took out the original tweeter and I connected, as you see in the picture here, the Hertz ones. I turned on my favorite music that I know really well and I was listening to the sound. I connected back and forth the tweeters from original to the Hertz and I was looking to see if there is any difference in the sound quality. That's how I tested before I decided to go with Hertz. Capacitor from uh, Mundorf brand. Uh, this was... Uh, an advice from one of the guys on the forums and just take a look at the original capacitor how small it is i was in shock when i got those from ebay they're so big compared to the original one the hair sweater looks bigger than the original one but no it actually it's exactly the same in size if you take out all the protection there will be a direct uh, fit into the original bracket this is where the capacitor will sit Yes, it does fit in there. And another look at how big the Mundorf capacitor is. Let's begin uh, with the installation. Open window, unfold the mirror and just use a bone tool to pry out the uh, speaker. Just pull outwards from the door and it will pop out. There is uh, two blue uh, metal clips that hold uh, the speaker in there. That's how it looks from inside. Disconnect the connector and it's in your hands. Takes exactly 30 seconds. Now my aim is to save the original connector. Right now what I'm doing is I'm cutting out completely the whole assembly. There you go, everything is out. Yes, there is another option where you could carefully pry out the original tweeter and just reinstall the Hertz one, but that will be more work to do. I decided to go the easiest way and of course you can do however you like. I'm just sharing you with you guys what I did. Cutting out the connector from the Twitter because I want to save it and there is the connector out. I had to be creative and I uh, used this kind of hose clamp because the original bracket was um, bad. It didn't work for me. So what I did is I just uh, cut it out and this strip of metal I'm going to be using to secure the tweeter in its place. So I made the metal straight, I uh, screwed a hole in it, the screw goes in and now it's going to be screwed into the tweeter. That's what I did. Time to solder all the wires. The capacitor needs to be in serial to the tweeter, to the line and it needs to be on both sides left and right on the same polarity in my case it's going to be on the plus side on the red wire that's the end result the capacitor is in series on the red wire i have decided to cover it with this uh, felt material it protects it a little bit more and it doesn't rattle and now everything is in its place ready to be secured by this hot glue gun i've never used one before but let me tell you, it works really well. 
a few minutes and it's gonna be complete that is the result everything is in its place secured all the wires nothing is gonna be loose I've saved the original connector so now it's a direct plug and play just to make it look a little bit nice I decided to cover it with the same felt material so I cut out a piece and it just sticks on and what it does it just looks better it insulates just in case something gets loose it's gonna be held by this material looks nice insulates uh, the sound redirects it directly out looks good and I'm happy with the result time to reinstall it onto the car just reconnect the connector and just pop it in all done very easy and uh, now I wanted to share with you a little a few thoughts on the installation of the Hertz tweeters let's go in my Volvo now the project is complete I've spent some I think 45 minutes to an hour on each side let me tell you that it's not that difficult and of course every project that I do I could do it second time probably in half time that it took me the first time and uh, before installing I did a quite I spent some time testing the Hertz sweaters compared to the original ones that Volvo installs from the factory and let me tell you I wouldn't install those I wouldn't spend the time before I checked very well I tested on uh, music that I know very well I love uh, listening to Infected Mushrooms my favorite uh, band it's uh, trance music electronic music and I know the details in the music over there and uh, when I connected the Hertz sweaters I did hear the difference and I would say a big difference there was more detail in the music it was more clear and I decided yes I gotta do it I have to put those Hertz sweaters now the Hertz sweaters are uh, 4 ohms impedance and the original ones that Volvo installs are 5 ohms so the Hertz ones they are gonna be louder so what I had to do is uh, once they were in the car I had to go and just go down a little bit on the on the level of the treble so this is where I am right now and of course there is no point uh, giving you some music over here because you're not gonna hear anything anyway it just you're gonna be relying on what I describe but let me tell you the sound is really good there is more detail in the sound it's more clear it's just amazing I really love it and I've spent not more than a hundred Canadian dollars which is around 70 US yes it's worth it if you want to do it just follow my steps and you can do it I also wanted to thank you guys for subscribing and uh, liking my videos I spent quite a lot of time doing those videos and I love what I do I love working on my Volvo I love sharing with you guys the next few things that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be replacing the blower fan motor which is behind the dash because it's squeaking in the winter time when it's cold that's a big project that I'm gonna be doing and also I know a lot of you guys ask me to do a transmission oil change yes I'm gonna be doing that I have the oil ready in my garage I have everything ready I just need to prepare mentally because uh, I want to do a good job, I want to do a good video uh, about transmission oil change. And that's it, that summarizes the installation of the Hertz tweeters. Really simple, really not expensive upgrade, but uh, if you have time on the weekend, do it, order it. Thank you for viewing, hit like on my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thank you guys and bye bye.